Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to zombies. So the revealed zombies for the new uh, Call of Duty Cold War. Oh boy, I loved Black Ops 1 zombies. I'm telling you, I, I did not care much for any of the other ones. Uh, this one from the small reveal when they revealed the multiplayer and all, the, there was a small reveal at the end where they showed like the zombies and I loved it. I just felt like there was like the Black Black Ops 1 zombies and kind of upgraded. It felt it had that classic feel. Even in the small moment, it felt like that. So let's check this out. This is not the, the two minute trailer. So this is like the around like a nine minute uh, full like overview of uh, what they're going to be doing uh, with the zombies. So let's check this out. Zombies. Who could have guessed Zombies. that when the undead first appeared in Call of Duty World at War, it would lead us here to today. From that moment, Zombies sparked a love for fighting the undead, bringing its unique DNA to the Call of Duty experience. Whether you're playing solo or co-op, working to solve puzzles or unlock Easter eggs, facing wave after wave of the undead delivers fast, fun Man, action with hard. just one like, objective. Survive. Like level Black Ops Cold War sets hard. the stage for a new Zombies experience, that not only celebrates it's our entire nice. zombies heritage, but uses it as an inspiration to build a completely new chapter in our universe. Today, we cover the characters, the backstory, and weapons with members of the development team, some of whom have quite literally helped to build it one zombie at a time. But first, let's check out the worldwide premiere of our new Zombies gameplay trailer. Oh, so that two minute trailer is part of this, great. That's not a zombie. Sam, what have you done? Did you get the package? Watch it. Watch the tape. What the hell is that? A machine. It's happening again. Requiem actual strike team is on the ground. Investigate the site. Contain the threat. Roger. Moving. Let's get the power on. What was that? Sometimes I feel I've got to Not even music. Get away. Strike team, report. What the hell just happened? Take my I know that. That's from another game. That's not this. Let's go! Push up back! Oh, this is me. Alright, okay. Oh, that sounds like an old one. Run the century! Isn't that the map from Black Ops 1? The electric room and all that? This feels like it. Bringing in hordes. Help is on the way. Oh, <laughs> overkill. Overkill. Ooh, ray gun, right? It's been a while. So many journeys, so many chapters. With Black Ops Cold War, we're starting fresh, embarking on a completely different story within our universe. We've got a new story uh, led by different characters. We've got new ways to play, Ooh. anchored by new ways of progressing. We've got a different time period. Cold War Zombies wasn't just our opportunity to open up a different chapter. 
It was our opportunity to elevate the entire zombies experience. It's a chapter we call The Machine. As we set out to build something completely new, we were inspired to pay oh, homage to zombies' to, uh, undead uh, roots to celebrate our origin with one of our most familiar and He's signature really locations, Nacht der Untoten. We finished a story, but we're still in that same universe, and this is the next chapter. The, the very end of Black Ops 4, our characters sacrifice themselves to collapse the multiverse and try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. And they were half right. Oh. So it's multiverse. This is a Cold War okay. story, and it will be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. Players are part of Requiem, a CIA-backed international response team led by Weaver, a Russian-American who will be familiar to Black Ops fans. By the time you arrive on the hunt for answers, the Machina will have been ravaged by time. On the surface, you'll see a boarded-up bunker. But below the surface lies a nefarious set of decades-old secrets primed to upset the global order. The players will find themselves at odds with a team of Soviet-led rivals known as Omega Group, who are just as interested in studying and harnessing the power of the unexplained anomalies manifesting around the globe. Beyond these two warring groups, they'll encounter characters with unknown agendas who operate in the field, delivering insights and intel on this new world's fiction. The intel you receive and recover is a huge component of our storytelling in Cold War. And for the first time, an innovative new intel the, system will make in content accessible yeah. on demand anytime. Camera work. There's a lot to recover that no one's ever yeah. seen before. Whoa. Let's get into the gameplay. That starts with delivering all your favorite elements. Relentless round-based action, the pack-a-punch machine, power-up drops, the mystery box, along with the return of some of our classic perks. We've also taken a fresh eye to the core gameplay loop to let you drop in and have fun faster than ever. The gameplay is classic, but it's going to be tonally quite fresh. You'll find our updates this year have focused on one thing above all, embracing what makes zombies so much fun. That starts with progression. Oh, 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 oh. This year, we've unified progression and loadouts across all of Call of Duty Black Ops they Cold War. Doom, that means wherever like, you play across that. multiplayer zombies, that your global doom. rank and weapons level that stays like connected. Here we'll be unlocking weapons and equipment, score streaks that will be usable across doom the entirety of the game. Like no more like, starting with a pistol. Not. Bring in your AR, your SMG, whatever you're feeling. And with all weapons boasting rarity with power levels, you can continue to increase your gun's damage potential however you choose. Every gun has a path to become an uber weapon. You'll have a lethal, tactical, and support slot. Not only can you craft, pick up, or find equipment and support in zombies, but you can now use them in combination, which delivers some insanely fun moments. Traditionally in zombies, the only way out was death. A new x system solves this. If things get tense and the squad is in trouble, you have the option to x to a chopper and earn some rewards. But only if you can survive a few more rounds of zombie spawns dialed up to 11. This is shaping up to be our most epic zombies experience ever. For the first time, post-launch content is going to be free. As new maps come out, everyone's going to be able to come along time. for the journey as we take That's them big. through this storyline. Yeah. Lastly, canon is canon. And we've put a story to rest, but as you comb through this new universe, don't be surprised if some things don't want to stay dead. This is the most connected and robust zombies surprised. experience Somebody in history. It also delivers a first for zombies, a fully cross-play experience with progression systems that tie zombies to the battle pass. We're dropping free post-launch zombies content to the community for the first time as well. We're honored to have you with us on this journey. We're glad that you could join us for today's first look. Zombies well, looking nice though, man. Those the designs are monstrous, man. I mean, uh, 
it definitely feels like classic zombies. You know, I think the in more recent Call of Duties, from what I've played, they advanced them to something else. They it it they start feeling something else, and then that intrigue of like the zombies back, you know, the classic zombies, kind of started leaving. The last time I played zombies was Black Ops Four. Uh, played that and then before that I tried Black Ops 2. I've never tried the original, you know, the World at War. I think that's where they introduced. Never played that. But Black Ops 1 is where I spent the most time in zombies. I loved it. For some reason, it was just classic, just zombies, you know. With like, yeah, the upgrades and all. But it just felt, just there was so much fun to it. It was simple and it was fun. It was simple and it was fun. You know, a good combo. Uh, the point is to have fun, and it made it fun. So this, it feels like they're going back. They're making it more simplistic in nature, with obviously the upgrades and all, and a bit of overkill. If you could bring in that chopper, like, come on, really. But, but, it seems fun. It feels, it feels at least to me, it feels like Black Ops 1 zombies, and I'm in for it. I'm definitely going to try that. Obviously, we're all, I mean, we're, we're getting Call of Duty, Cold War. Obviously, a lot of people are uh, happy about it. The beta, I've heard some bad things, but the public beta is about to happen uh, soon. You know, the exclusive one with all the big uh, Call of Duty guys and although they played it, the clips are everywhere. So I can't wait to get my hands on onto the October 8th. That's when it's happening for us. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully... A lot of the maps, as I said, and that I've said it before, they've improved the map structure and all. And let's see how it runs. Let's see how it runs on October 8th. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. I always love zombies, uh, like Black Ops 1. I've always loved that. And Black Ops 4, I've just played it solo for a bit, uh, not with anybody else or anything. But I was thinking it was all right, not bad. Uh, but I still prefer the first one. I think it was the simplistic and the fun nature is set is the best combo so yeah y'all let me know in the comment what you think about this uh, what are you thinking and what are you thinking about all of this uh the upgrades and the overkill there with the chopper and uh what are you expecting from the multiverse because i don't know anything about this multiverse i never knew there was a multiverse because i never finished the black ops 4 i didn't reach the ending or anything like that so now they're saying like all these zombies and everything that we've seen before it's all part of this like, you know, multiverse of uh, zombies, I guess. Uh, I guess everything these days has to be multiverse, whatever. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about that. But let me know also you know, what you think about this zombies that are there coming up in the next game. So yeah, with that, thanks for watching. I will please remember to share and subscribe, uh, dislike or like, and let me know how I'm doing. All right, always remember to let me know if you any prefer something a uh, movie review or something and I'll try my best to get to it. So yeah, thanks so much. Take care and I will catch you all later. Ta-ta.